Welcome back, everybody. I am here today to react to the Dot Hack announcement for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is Dot Hack GU parts one through four. Now, I actually have this on my PlayStation 4 um, and I haven't been able to dig into it yet because I play mostly portable mode on my Nintendo Switch. So, you know, I don't really get the time to really play too much docked only when I'm streaming. Um, but this is the Hack GU returning to the Nintendo Switch. I don't know why it's saying returning. I don't think it was ever on the Nintendo platform before Dot .hack, but um, basically um, it's the sequel to the original. It was four parts on the PS2, and then this was the series after the original first four Dot .hacks. Um, so this is basically a more modern Dot .hack, but is still, um, you know, in that same category. It's kind of like if you guys ever played um, Sword Art Online, it's the same kind of concept where you're inside of a massively multiplayer game, like, uh, World of Warcraft or EverQuest, and you're actually, um, a character inside there, and real things happen in the real world based on the game, so it's connected to the real world, there's also an anime that's connected to it, um, that's super cool, so, I just saw this and I was like, wow, I had no idea, I thought that Dot .hack would be a great fit for the Switch for some time now, but, you know, obviously, it just hasn't happened yet, but you know, Bandai Namco has been very, very much on board with the Nintendo Switch, so it really makes sense that they're bringing this over, and I think it will sell really well for them. Um, they tend to discount their products, so this may be something I pick up on a discount, um, or maybe I can, you know, get a review copy. Namco, are you listening? But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of this, and I hope y'all are having a great day.